A European Union court ruled that Airbnb should not be subject to EU property regulations. The verdict classes the home sharing site as an online platform, not a property agent. Now, advisors to the EU's top court says that the way that Facebook and other companies transfer data abroad is in fact legal. Final ruling will be delivered in the next few months. The case was brought forward by privacy activist Max Schrems. I caught up with him a little earlier and asked him what he thought of the day's developments and judgments. The advisory opinion is exactly what we've argued for six years. Um, it's uh, good that data flows can continue, but we do have a problem with certain U.S. industry sectors that do fall under U.S. surveillance laws, and there the decision is rather clear that the European authorities must stop the data transfer if something like that happens, and that's exactly what we've asked for. Yeah. I mean, it's a very complex um, situation and a complex Absolutely. discussion. From my understanding is that um, standard contracts used by Facebook and many other firms to send uh, users' data to third countries uh, are, in fact, valid. And yep. this still leaves the door open, however, for people to use data from Europe into, say, the U.S., which is exactly what you're actually fighting against. Yeah, and there is a second part to the judgment that says that there is yeah. built in into the standard contractual clauses some kind of like a legal exit or emergency exit that says generally these are fine and that's what we've argued from the beginning. But if a company like in this case Facebook falls under a surveillance law in a foreign jurisdiction, just like in the US FISA 702 that requires mass um, um, kind of mass surveillance, then in the individual case, the um, relevant authority still has to stop the data transfer. So for Facebook, yeah. they can rely or still use that piece of legislation, but in their individual case, they still are not allowed to transfer data on it anymore. And I think that's the crucial takeaway and a huge problem for companies that, yeah. on the one hand, have to follow European privacy laws, but at the other hand, also have to follow US surveillance laws. Imagine.